Welcome back to Barbecue My Way. I know this for a fact. Next to chocolate, mushrooms are my wife's favorite food. All right, so here's what we need. We've got, uh, of course, our mushrooms, the star of the dish. We've got 16 ounces of mushrooms. I went with half shiitake, half baby bella. Uh, we've got, of course, vegetable stock. We've got half and half. We've got whole whipping cream, two shallots. We have thyme, a cup of uh, dry white wine, olive oil, half a stick of butter, a quarter cup of uh, flour, and then not pictured is salt, pepper, and parsley. So let's get to prepping this. All right, with the mushrooms, you can really use any type of mushroom that you like. We like the darker mushrooms, the, I wouldn't call them exotic, but not really just the general white bell mushroom that you see. And when you clean them, a lot of people say, just brush them off. I, I gotta wash them a little bit, rub them down with my hand. That sediment, I just, it just creeps me out. So they say that they absorb moisture and you don't want that. So what we do is we'll rinse them very quickly and then we just towel dry them. And you don't want them really paper thin. You want a little meat to them. All right, and now place the mushrooms in a bowl and set them to the side. And now to the shallots. With this recipe, you can actually use a couple of cups of onions. But the reason shallots, uh, that Liz likes the shallots, is that they are a little bit more mild than an onion. It just doesn't have that kick that an onion has, but it still provides that nice oniony flavor, if any of that makes any sense. And now we get to start sauteing, and this room is going to get filled up with wonderful smells. All right, we've got it over medium to slightly above medium heat. We're going to add the half stick of butter and let that melt. All right, almost melted. We're now going to add the chopped shallots. All right, it's been about uh, two, three minutes. They're starting to get a little bit translucent. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of olive oil and the star of the dish, 16 ounces of mushrooms. Sauteing these for roughly 10 minutes. You'll notice when you throw the mushrooms in, it really sucks up the liquids and then it will release them again. Man, I wish you could smell this. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, so it's time to add the quarter cup of flour. And we're gonna cook this for roughly one to two minutes. Now it's time to add the one cup of wine. Boy, that smells awesome and the four cups of vegetable stock. All right, now we're going to add the one teaspoon of thyme. And about a teaspoon of salt, no more, because you can always salt it at the table. freshly cracked pepper, black pepper. We're gonna let that come to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes uncovered. I am not exaggerating. I really, really wish you could smell this in here. Earthy, rich, oh, a hint of sweetness in the air. This is gonna be awesome. All right, now it's time to add the last ingredients, one and one half cup of half and half. and roughly a half a cup of whole whipping cream. Now for those of you that are thinking how unhealthy this is, if you're a low, car low carb kind of person, this dish has hardly any carbs at all. So it's delicious, creamy, rich. And the last thing to add is the chopped parsley. We've got roughly a quarter of a cup of chopped parsley. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot, but I'm not gonna use a spoon. I'm gonna use some bread. Cause this seems like a bread kind of soup, you know? Creamy, mushroom. Delicious. Creamy, kind of a sweetness to it. You can taste the wine, parsley, obviously the mushrooms. 
give this a shot. If you like mushrooms, this is a great soup you gotta give it a shot. Thanks for stopping by.